Hey, it's just Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual pricing for $5,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 58-year-old male. First thing I recommend is go to our website at funeralfunds.com. On just about every page, we've got these free quotas. And all you need to do is just select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount and then enter your birthday in the other information, click get quotes now, and it will take you to a page that's got the best insurance companies with the lowest rates. And that will prevent you from overpaying on policies out there, especially on those policies that have those really low prices that you see advertised on TV and in magazines. And then when you call them up, that low prices for like low coverage, and then they, they, they start jacking the price up on you. It'll also help you avoid those plans with two-year waiting periods where they can cost up to 200% more than first day coverage. So you can also call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you live over the phone as well. Now, the first thing a 58-year-old male should be asking himself if he's looking at $5,000 worth of insurance is, is that going to be enough for my final expense needs? And typically that final expense needs would be either a cremation or burial. So let's, let's, let's attack those both separately. So the average cost of a cremation right now in the United States is between one to $2,000. That's if you just come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Now, if you're going to have some sort of a ceremony, like a celebration of life ceremony, or remembered ceremony, then that would, and, and that's in addition to the cremation, that'd probably be $3,500 to $4,500. So we would typically recommend for that cremation where you're just going to come home in a cardboard box or an urn around $5,000 to $7,000. And you may be going, well, hold on, you know, the cremation's only $2,000. Why are we looking at $5,000? Well, the reason is, is you're 58 and we're hoping you make, to make it to 68 and maybe even 78, maybe even 88. And we know the prices do go up over time due to inflation. So what we want to do is get just a little bit extra coverage to cover the cost of inf inflation as time goes on. And then God forbid you were to die sooner, there's a little bit extra money left over there, maybe to take over some other expenses, medical bills, other final expenses or something like that. But again, just very reasonable coverage, but inflation proofing the plan for the future. Now for that cremation where you're going to have a service with it, we would typically recommend around 7,000 to $10,000 for, for the same reason we recommended the 5,000 to 7,000. So if you're going to have a burial, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. So if you walk into a funeral home with a $10,000 check, chances are they're going to get it done. And uh, I, I can tell you one thing, though. It's not going to be very fancy for $10,000. But we just find it hard to believe that they uh, wouldn't take care of that and let you walk out the door, walk a couple blocks down, and give that money to their competitors. So just understand that, you know, the average cost of a burial is 10000 If you're looking at $5,000 worth of insurance, obviously that's not going to cover a $10,000 burial. So you would need more coverage. But a lot of people will get that 5000 because they already maybe had a $10,000 policy or a 5000 or a 7000 And they just wanted to bolster up their existing policy and get a little bit more coverage. You know, it probably was enough coverage when they got it, but prices have gone up over time. So we can definitely help you add more coverage. But we would typically, for a 58-year-old, typically rec recommend kind of the 10000 to 15000 Some people might go 20000 but it just depends on your budget. One thing we don't recommend is just like looking at thirty, forty, dollars or $50,000. What typically happens in that case is somebody wants to leave money behind for their kids. And the fact is that most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income. And the, the, the premium is really important that we keep it low. And... It's always tragic to hear somebody go, well, if I can't do 50000 I'm not going to do anything at all because I want to leave money for my kids. Well, now they're leaving no money for the kids, and they're actually hurting the kids because now there's going to be no money for the final expenses. So, yeah, just don't be ornery and kind of stubborn that way. You know, just get what you need right now. If, if, you, if you can only afford $10,000, get that. We can always help you add more coverage later. Now... One thing we always recommend is first day coverage or benefits. And that is so important. We never, we never recommend those two-year waiting period plans. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first day coverage means 
that hypothetically, if your plan were issued and approved today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would have to pay out that 5,000, 10,000, 15, 20,000, whatever it is, whatever the death benefit is, they'd have to pay it out. And that's the coverage you want. It's the best coverage. It's going to have the lowest pricing. Now, a lot of people would say, you know, Randy, I like that first day coverage, but I know those plans ask health questions and I'm not in the best of health. To which we say, hey, your health is our problem, not your problem, at least when it comes to this insurance. And that's why we work with so many different insurance companies. They all have different health questions. They all have different underwriting. And 90 to 95% of the time, we are getting people approved for first day coverage or benefits. Really, the only reason you wouldn't qualify for first day coverage is if you had some really significant health issues, like maybe you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away within 12 months or you have dementia, or you're on, di on dialysis, or you're in a hospital or in a nursing home. Uh, if that were the case, we would typically refer you out to a different insurance company. The other thing that happens, seems like every week, is we get somebody that will call up and say, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week, and they didn't have any insurance, and we don't have any money. Their body's down at the funeral home, and now the funeral home director's not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick so that we can get the funeral home director paid and get our family member buried. And we have to let them know that there's no insurance company in the United States that is going to approve a policy on a dead person. It does not work that way. You gotta be alive to qualify for this insurance. And it's really, it's really tragic that this person died. They knew they were gonna die someday. Dying is not a surprise. They knew they probably needed this insurance and just kept putting it off and putting it off, putting it off. And then death knocked on their door. That's all she wrote. And now their family members are going to have to figure out a way to pay this. And typically, they are going to put that on a credit card at 26% interest, and they're going to pay on this for years and years and years. So don't be that person. Don't let that be your legacy, that the last thing that happens to you in life means that your family is going to be burdened and they're going to have to pay years and years and years. Don't let that be your legacy that every time your name comes up, everybody goes, oh, yeah, that person made us pay their burial and, and, and we're still paying it off. Yeah. So, yeah, don't be that person. This insurance is affordable. If you can't afford everything you need, just get what you can get right now. We can always help you add more coverage. Now, one thing we don't recommend is those plans with two-year waiting periods. Now, Colonial Pen is kind of a well-known company. I think it's just because they advertise a lot on TV. It seems like their commercials are on every seven minutes or so. But yeah, Colonial Pen, if you didn't know this, their 995 plan is a two-year waiting period plan. Ouch! Yeah, you probably didn't know that. And there's other companies out there that have two-year waiting periods, like Mutual of Omaha, their United Omaha line, AIG, Gerber, and just a host of other companies out there. And a lot of these companies have done a really great job of convincing the American public that the only thing you'll qualify for if you're over age 50 is a plan with a two-year waiting period, to which we always say, ha, 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 don't believe such nonsense. Because we help people with first-day coverage all day long. Now, our 58-year-old male is probably watching a Colonial Pen commercial and they're probably thinking, man, 58, I'm not that old. You know, that 995, man, it sounds awfully good. I can probably get a lot of coverage. I can probably get 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. You know what? At age 58, I bet I can even get 50,000 for only $9.95. And then they talk with a Colonial Pen agent or they go on Colonial Pen's website like we have done here for you. And they see that a male age 58 for one unit of coverage, $9.95, $9.95 right there is only going to pay out $1,258. And man, there's a lot of places in the country where that won't pay for a cremation. And, and the places that it will pay for a cremation you know, this plan isn't even going to pay out for two years. So, so things are going to be more expensive in two years. So that 1258 probably won't pay for a cremation kind of really, maybe perhaps any time. That's why the first day coverage is so important. And a lot of people would say that, you know, companies that offer teaser rates, they, they do that not to sell you a plan 
for that low teaser rate, but really that's just to get your information, to get your interest, to get your curiosity. And then when they're talking to you, then some people would say, you know, their job is to upsell you into a more expensive or meaningful amount of coverage. Now, we are not saying that Colonial Pen would ever do that, but you might want to formulate your own opinion on that. But let's take a look, because we want to find $5,000 worth of insurance. I'm going to guess that's about four units, because this is twelve fifty-eight. I'm guessing four units. There we go, 5032 Now, with Colonial Pen as a 58-year-old male, you cannot get $5,000 worth of insurance on the nose because they sell it by unit. That's the only way they can say the nine ninety-five dollars because they're selling it by unit. But yeah, evidently that $32 at the end is pretty important for something. But let's take a look because this is basically $5,000 and it's going to be basically $40. It's $39.80. We're just going to round it up to $40. let us see what $5,000 coverage would be if it were first day coverage. Let's see if we can save you some money. I know we can't. Here we go. 5,000 for a male age 58. And we're going to click the get quote button right here. And again, we're looking at this 5,000 for $40. And over here, 5,000 is going to be $20 and 13 cents. And this is level coverage, meaning first day coverage. That's exactly what you want. So why would you, here we go, 5,000. You know, why would you ever get 5,000 for $40 with a two year waiting period? And they're going to force you to overpay on that policy every single month for the rest of your life. Why would you get that when there's first day coverage available out there for $20 and 13 cents? So you're going to overpay Colonial Pen $20 a month. They are roughly 200% more expensive than first day coverage. So you're overpaying $20 a month. That's roughly times 12 months at $240 a year. After 10 years, when our 58-year-old is 68 years old, you will have overpaid right around $2,400 more. We do not recommend you overpay for insurance. So we, we just believe that money's better off in your pocket than in, in the pocket of an insurance company that offers a two-year waiting period. So just be aware of that. You need to be a smart consumer and a smart shopper. If you're not, then don't worry. We can help you be smart. That's what we do. So let's look at some other companies here and you'll be able to see all these different insurance companies as well. But let's take a look, trying to find another one. Well, here's one, <clears throat> uh, Lincoln Heritage. So they're a fine company, I guess, but um, I guess, I mean, look at that pricing. It's like $10 more. That's not a lot, but it, it adds up. It is level coverage, but yeah, so it's, it's $10 more. And now what, what Lincoln Heritage does is they, they have a deal with their plan where when you pass away, they will supposedly call two, three different funeral homes, try to negotiate the lowest pricing, maybe do a couple of other things, but it's not free. They charge for it and it costs you money. So we know it's about $10 more a month because it's 29, basically rounded up to 30 versus 20. So $10 more a month, that's $120 extra a year that you're overpaying. After 10 years, you will have overpaid right around $1,200, right around $1,200. And I, you know, that's not a lot of money, but it's not an inconsequential amount of money. And if you think about it, if an insurance company is just going to call two, three funeral homes, maybe do a couple of other things, and it's only going to take an hour or so, getting paid $1,200 is a pretty big paycheck for them. So we don't recommend you give big paychecks to insurance companies. What we recommend is you go with a plan like this. We could help you with this company. Go with this plan. And then what we do is we provide free of charge, a free funeral and estate planning guide. And what you do is you download that off our website, you print it out, and then you just fill it out. Who gets what, what goes where, what happens after you're gone. And then once you're done filling that out, you put it with your insurance policy. And then when you pass away, your family will know where to go to get everything. And they will be protected both financially with the insurance policy, but also emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide. And they will know everything that they need to do. And all they will need to do is open it up and then just execute your wishes. And they will have the peace of mind knowing that they are doing everything exactly as you wanted. And they will also have the peace of mind knowing the money's there to take care of it with the insurance policy. 
So what a wonderful gift. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind for your family to know that you not only were loving, caring, and protecting for them in life, but also in death. And actually, that's one of the times they're going to need you the most, even, even though you're not here. And that's what an insurance policy and a funeral and estate planning guide can do for your family. So to our website, we've got a special quarter for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. And that will take you to a page that's got a special quarter with special rates and discounts for you. And you can call 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you out. And whether you've got an existing policy and you want to see if we can save you money or you just want to add coverage to that, we can help you out with that. If you're looking for a brand new policy or just want some questions answered or need some help, we can help you out with that. We, we, we look forward to helping you get the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. And until that day comes, when we do get a chat with you about that, you take care, you stay safe, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.